So it looks like the two rate cuts made by the Bank of Canada have caused an uptick in sales, according to Treb President Jennifer Pierce. Buyers are finally feeling more confident that they can afford a mortgage, and luckily they're gaining in two ways. Number one, reduced interest rates, and number two, high inventory providing some relief, especially in the condo market. We've been singing the same tune for months now, which is basically buyers who qualify for a mortgage should consider acting now to gain negotiating power in a high inventory market. You can ride the waves of what should prove to be a succession of interest rate cuts with a variable mortgage and then lock in when the rates seem to stabilize. The point is that this is one of those rare moments when buyers can benefit from high inventory after what for years has been a seller's market. We're still seeing annual growth in new listings, outstripping sales, and when combined with declining interest rates, you can hitch your little red wagon to this perfect storm and can come out ahead in the long run. Remember, although variable mortgages are higher risk, when there's a reasonably predictable downturn in rates, you can feel a little safer taking this route. We do wanna add a word of warning though. We've noticed that although variable rates tend to trend lower than fixed rates, it seems banks are trying to counterpunch the predicted downward trend by keeping their variable rates higher than fixed. They're perhaps hoping they'll get more people to lock into what seems like a lower fixed rate and miss out on what Treb president, uh, Treb's president notes will be an expected further rate decline in the coming months. It's a bit of a balancing act because you wanna take advantage of the buyer's market before a rush of buyers helps even the playing field, but not miss out on dropping rates. So be careful and discuss your options with a trusted mortgage expert to guide you based on your financial situation. We work with a whole bunch of great mortgage agents, by the way, if you need a referral. And homeowners, if you've been wondering when you should sell, we advise you to consider your equity, finances, and personal situation. High inventory is a challenge, but as Trev notes, the market will begin to flood with buyers goaded on by reduced borrowing costs. Once the inventory is absorbed, the market will tighten, so you'll see that price, the price growth you've been waiting for. Despite the slight drop of 0.9% in the average selling price from July of 2023, if you have to sell, just over 1.1 on average across all property types is still a pretty respectable price. It really depends on your equity. We might also see some unexpected activity. For example, traditionally buyers check their house hunts in March, and spring tends to historically see the most activity. However, you never know. With anticipated rate cuts for September, maybe more buyers will shop in the fall. This could present an opportunity for sellers when inventory typically tends to drop. Just saying, you never know. If selling's on your radar, we'd be happy to evaluate your home and offer advice by, based on your situation. Just give us a call.